guys, it's Red from Editing, and um, yeah, we're doing all these in one big massive take. So, we got black wings today. New support, everything. Let's see how it's looking. So, starting off, we got triple copy of Sujri. So, whenever Sujri is summoned, you get to search for any one card that mentions black wing dragon and its card effect. Um, cool. Other than that, you can tribute one monster and special summon a token. We don't care about that effect. Um, triple Simoon. Uh, you don't know what Simoon does. You just banish one black wing monster from your hand, place a black whirlwind face up, and then you choose on if you just want to send this to grave or if you want to normal summon it. Oh. Um, Honestly, this one's probably one of my favorite cards for the deck right now. Um, Shamal. So you can discard this card and place a Black Feather Whirlwind face up from your deck. Great. Um, if you uh, Synchro Summon for a Black Wing Synchro Monster or a Black Wing Dragon, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target a Black Wing Monster in your grave, and Special Summon it. Um, one of my other favorite cards that has been released for this is Vada. So if you control a black wing monster, you just special summon Vada for free. Ooh, excuse me, for free. Um, you can activate Vada while he's face up on the field to synchro summon by sending himself, and you can send uh, monsters from your deck whose levels equal 8 for black wing dragon. Um, for the one of us, we play Auster. So whenever Auster is summoned, you can target a Blackwing that's banished and uh, summon it to your side of the field. Other than that, you can also banish out Auster and place the um, uh, Wedge Counters on all your opponent's monsters. Uh, Harmanitan, the Dust, because whenever he's summoned, you get to target one other Blackwing monster on your field that you control and apply its level to what he is. So say I target Oster, uh, and he's already level 2, he'd be at level 6. Um, my own little personal option that I like to run is Bora, just because it's nice to have the free extender sometimes, and it's not a hard once summon at all, so you can bounce it back, keep going. Uh, Gale, same thing like Bora, free extender, bounce it back, summon it again. Uh, with Gale, you can target a monster, cut its attack and defense in half, and I forgot to mention, but Bora does piercing damage when he attacks. Um, Chris the Crack of Dawn, you can only special summon him out of your hand once, but I guess the cool thing about him is, um, he's not a, uh, he can't be destroyed by spell or traps. Uh, Zephyrus, we use him for combo with Vada, usually, or um, with the Raid Raptor Link 2 guy. Um, other than that, you can take a card on your field, put it back to your hand, summon him, and take 400. Steam the Cloak. So glad we got this guy back off the ban list. Um, sometimes, if my hand's already looking good and I can see my extenders that I need to go into some of my stuff, I'll just summon him out so that way when I synchro, I have a token to use later on. Um, Chinook's actually pretty cool. So, you can send it to your graveyard from the hand or field, target a face-up effect monster your opponent controls, and send one Blackwing Synchro monster, or a Blackwing Dragon from your extra deck to the graveyard. And by doing so... Um, the target monster loses 700 attack, it has its effects negated. Um, I wrote you the Squall, just, you know, free summon. Other than that, use it for a synchro, you can change the battle position of one of your opponent's monsters. One of my one-ofs that I play is the Raider's Wing. Uh, it's a good extender for the deck, honestly, if I want to link Climb into Shureg. Um, or if I just want to use it for the uh, Force Strix XE. But other than that, I mean, that's all he's really in here for. And for our hand traps, besides Chinook, Triple Ash Blossom, because why not? Um, spell lineup, I feel like it's pretty straightforward, standard. We got 
triple black whirlwind whenever you normal summon a black wing monster you get to search for a black wing monster with attack attack less than the one that you normaled uh the new one that we got black feather whirlwind so whenever you synchro summon a dark synchro monster from the extra deck except during damage stuff you can target one of your black wing monsters or a black wing dragon wait If you special summon a dark synchro monster from the extra deck, you can target one of your black wing monsters or black wing dragon that is in your that is in banished or engraved with attack. I didn't realize it can do banished. I thought it was just grave. Huh. <laughs> that just made that card better. But anyway, so you can target black wing monster, black wing dragon, grave, banish, whatever, special summon it. Cool, monsters you control would be destroyed by battle. Or card effect, you can remove a black feather counter from your field instead. Um, I guess this is more kind of like staple line up through the spells now that I like to... But I'm playing a double book of Eclipse just to flip everything that my opponent has down. Uh, double word to get the draw power and plus not only that this card works well with Auster whenever you normal summon it. And I guess it works well with that now. Now I see why I wanted the third one. Um, since I don't have the third one I play one wing requital. Just Another way to draw an extra two cards. Um, the Phantom Knights rank up Magic Force, so that way I can go into Ulti Falcon. Um, people are controversial about this card. I say two of it's going to be the perfect ratio. So you can Synchro Summon for a Black Wing Synchro Monster or Black Wing Dragon by taking the materials from either Grave or Banishment and shuffling them back. And I'm pretty sure if you control two or more Blackwing monsters, you can activate this card directly from your hand, which is great. Um, anyway, that's it for the main. Let's hop over to the extra deck real quick. So, as I mentioned before, we were playing Raver After Weistrix, being able to special summon a level 4 or lower Blackwing monster, but you know, effects negated. Um, if a Raid Raptor monster this card points to activates its effect, you get to look for a rank up normal or a quick play, set it to your side of the field. If it is a quick play, you get to activate it the turn you set it from this. Um, I did mention this earlier, but we play uh, Share Egg. Just board control whenever we summon a Winged Beast monster or Beast Warrior or Beast. We just get to... Um, target one card on the field and banish it, or it's one monster, one of the two. Yeah, any one card on the field. Um, four Strix, so that way we can search out our extenders if need be to keep going a little bit longer. Um, also, it's our way to climb into Ultimate Falcon with the Raid Raptor Quick Play, just by targeting it and then banishing the darks to make up the difference in the ranking. Um, for the synchros, I play one copy of Nethung, being able to burn your opponent, and also just granting the normal summon ability. I play uh, two Boar Storm, the Wicked Wind. Um, reason being, I use one for combo purposes, and then I use another one for um, a different card, but we'll get to that different card later. Um, whenever he's summoned, you get to take a Blackwing monster from your deck and send it to Grave and its level becomes the exact same level as whatever you dump. So if you dump a level 1, like Orochi, he becomes level 1. City and Hawkjo, um, controversial card for the deck, honestly. Some people don't like it. I kinda like it. I'm, I'm slowly wanting to take it out more. But you can special summon a level 6 or higher Blackwing monster from your deck with this. And really that's what it's mostly used for, it's just that um, during either player's turn when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets only this card, or when your opponent targets this card for an attack, you can target one other Blackwing monster you control and redirect it to that card. Um, just a little funny card I play. Uh, if you don't want to run Berserker or the Tenny, recommend, um, what, what's the level 8 Boral Sword, uh, no, Boral and Savage Dragon, that guy, because you're already playing Lynx, and if you already go into Shurig after you hit this and you have Boral Load, you, you can already have a 2 Negate, and Boral Load being 37. 
But um, with him, I like being able to gain the attack from my opponent and then go for the second attack. Kind of more just push for the kill there. Um, we play two Blackwing Dragon. Again, it's the same me saying that it's going to be the same purpose as the level 6 guy. Um, combo purposes and also card effects are just going to give you the ability to get into this stuff way too easy. Um, one full armor master I was originally playing too, but I came across how funny it'd be to play Satellite Warrior in place of the second one. So this is pretty much your towers of the deck, he's going to be unaffected by all other card effects. Um, whenever your opponent activates a monster effect, you're going to put a wedge counter on him. Um, on your turn, you can activate the effect to take control of an opponent's monster with the wedge counter. It can still attack, activate its effects, all that. Um, during the end phase, if there are any monsters on the field face up with wedge counters, blow them up. Regeki them. Uh, Satellite Warrior is just great for the deck because you're going through a lot of synchros. So whenever he's summoned for however many synchros you have in Grave, you get to destroy that many cards on your opponent's side of the field, and then he gains a thousand attack per card destroyed. So again, just more of a OTK little push piece, just like that is. Um, and then to double up, we play two Blackwing Assault Dragons. So this is kind of like the um, um, Masquerade for the deck, if you know what I mean, for all you branded players out there. So instead of burning you for 600, it's going to burn you for 700, and it'll keep stacking counters on it. Um, you can remove... Uh, as soon as it hits four counters, you can remove the counters and tribute this off. And you're just going to literally wipe the board. But, yeah, that's Blackwings, guys. Um, been playing the deck forever, you know, spent a lot of time with it, especially with the new support, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment down below what you think of it, subscribe, notification bell, you know, you know the gist. We'll catch you in the next one, peace.